Then they should Many of you may or may not have heard of the next guy. He was an Irish man. He was uh, when he was only 19, he went to England to join the Irish Guards. His name was Jack Dyer, as you know. He was a boxer uh, and, and a fabulous boxer. He actually fought for the British Heavyweight Championship. But like a lot of Irishmen, ladies and gentlemen, of the period, and indeed of all periods, he had a weakness for drinking. He was also a brilliant singer, ladies and gentlemen, and a very, very good looking fellow. So good looking, but he went by the nickname of the Gorgeous Scale. Jack Dyle, did anybody ever hear of him, the famous boxer? Jack Dyle, you did, sir, yes? Well, unfortunately, for those who don't know about Jack Dyle, he made quite a fortune because he was uh, an excellent boxer. And he also gave concert. He married a very famous movie actress called Movisa. Now, Movisa may not mean anything to you. However, I'm sure you all have heard of the film Mute Me on the Bounty. The first one was Clark Gable and Charles Lawton. She starred in that. She was the dusky beauty. She married uh, Jack Dyle, uh, but she couldn't take his drinking, so she eventually left him. And indeed, married Marilyn Brando at a later stage. But Jack Dyle uh, made quite a lot of money, this gentleman and squandered it all uh, when he was only in his really mid-60s, ladies and gentlemen. In 1978, he collapsed on a London street. He was brought to hospital, signed himself down, out, went back out again, and a couple of days later was found dead in a laneway in London. There wasn't even the money there to give him a burial, so he was going to get a pauper's burial. But word came back to Cove in County Cork, that's where Jack Dyle was from. And the local boxing team went over to England, uh, to London, got his body, brought it back, and gave it a fitting burial and put a lovely monument over his grave, ladies and gentlemen. He was asked later on in life uh, on what did he spend his money. And he remarked on slow horses and fast women. <laughs> so I said to myself, what a way to go. Well, anyway, here we go, listen. A beautiful song, ladies and gentlemen, written about him by a very, very talented Irish songwriter called Jimmy McCarthy. Beautiful song called The Contender, all about Jack Dyle and his struggle with the drink. When I was young and I was in my day, I could see one woman's heart there was a way. I'd sing and dance to morning. I blaze away to dawn and long before I was the man you see today. I was born beneath the star that crossed all. I could live my life without Cassandra's call. But the wheel of fortune took me. I shall fall Here in the mirror on the wall I see the dream is fading From the contender to the brawl The ring of rose, the matador So when I die, I'm going to drop upon the street. You can count me out to ten in pretty feet. Wrap the starry crown around me. Let the pipers every sound me. Till I rest until the Lord of love I Here in the mirror on the wall, I see the dream is fading from the contender to the brawl. The ring, the rose, the matador is raving. So when I die, I'm going drunk upon the street. 
Until the 